Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Hello. I'm sorry. Hello. I lost my electricity a moment ago at 8 p.m. So that is why I wow. I closed the meeting. But it's back. It's back now. So welcome to the class. How how are you doing today? Do you still have energy? It's Friday night. So I don't know if you feel tired or with some some energy. Anna, how are you doing? How do you feel? I'm fine, teacher. You're fine. Do you work tomorrow? Finish. Ah, it's, it's over. Ah, okay. Congratulations in that case. That's very cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, Arnoldo, do you work tomorrow? Yes, I work uh, to eight. Uh, from from eight to until one p.m. From eight to one. Ah, okay. Just yeah, half half of the day. Okay. Yeah, a half day. And one is my my weekend in the. In, in, I work one Saturday per month. Ah, only one. Oh, okay. So the next ones you are not going to work. No, my I I have a new job. Ah, that is why. Okay, that's good. Um, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance in this moment, and please remember to activate your camera, please. Or if you can't, please send me a message so I can report, so I can report the reason why. Okay, so we start with Ana, Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilia. Present. Okay, thank you. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. Brian, Brian Javier. Carlos Antonio. Present. Thank you. Give me one moment. I'm going to close the windows because it's raining a lot here. One second. Okay, thank you. We continue with Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Frida. Frida Mejia. Jose Galileo. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Thank you. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Chris Alfonso. Present teacher. Thank you. Did I mention Galileo? Galileo, lo mencioné. Let's continue with Maria Concepcion. Present teacher. El Maria Elena. El Maria Ivania. Present teacher. Nelson Gabarrete. Omar. Dice que va caminando, dice que ah. luego se conecta con Ah, okay, the message. Thank you. And then Omar Francisco. Present. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo. Zaira Marleni. Wendy Maribel. Wendy. Present teacher. Ah, okay. okay, hoy sí, hoy sí la mencioné. Present teacher. Jenny Santos. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristian Lazo. José Arnoldo. Present teacher. José Jonathan. Present teacher. Thank you. Miss Juan Carlos. It's okay. Juan Carlos Rivas. Mayra Moreno. And that's it. Okay, so
So now we can start. We're going to start again with an activity for you to practice, okay? For you to practice your vocabulary. So I'm going to type a word here. Let me see. Okay. The idea is that you create new words by using the words that we, I'm sorry, by using the letters we have on this word. La idea es que creen nuevas palabras con la palabra que tenemos acá, information. So taking consonants and vowels from here, you, you can create something new. Solo utilizando las letras que están acá. No otras, solo las de acá. You have to create something new. Hay que crear nuevas palabras. Do you have, let's, let's practice as an example. Jonathan, do you have a comment? Yes, um, se pueden repetir las, las letras. Eh, only if it's double here. Si está aquí doble, sí. Si no, no. Okay. For, uh -huh. okay. For example, N, la N sí se puede repetir because we have it twice. But the others, no. Do you see any new words? Solo para probar. ¿Ve alguien una nueva palabra? It could be Imagine short. Mm -hmm. Ajá, Rodrigo. Imagination y... Imagination. 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 Thank you. Podría ser, pero no tenemos la G aquí. Y solo puede utilizar las que están acá, okay. Rodrigo. Okay. Jenny. Okay. Nation. 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 Format. Ajá, format. Ok, entonces tienen que brainstorm. Piensen y vean qué palabras pueden sacar. Format, creo que dijo Jenny, right? Format. Pero este es solo de prueba. Yo les voy a dar yes. otra ahorita. Ok, this is not the one. And you're going to have 80 seconds. Ok, let's begin with expensive. Expensive. And in the chat or in the notebook, you can take notes. You have... 80 seconds, 80 seconds to think about new words. Does everyone understand the activity? Carlos, Blanca, do you understand? Elena? Yo no, teacher. No, okay, Elisa. No, sé no. no, tienes que, utilizando solo las las letras que aparecen acá, tienes que pensar en qué palabras se podrían sacar en inglés. Solo con estas, E, X, P, E, N. Por ejemplo, okay. yo veo aquí the, the word pen. Esa podría ser una que se deriva solo de las letras que están en expensive. And you have like 80 mm. seconds. Thank you. Uh -huh. mm, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, también next. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, Lily. Teacher. Yes, Pino. Pino. Which one, Pino. Carlos? Pino. Teacher, sí. Bye. Sí. Sí, de sí yo. Sí. Ajá. Correct. Ok, time's over. Let's check the list. Even. Even. Vamos a ver las, las listas. Sí. Arnoldo, sí. can you read all Even. your letters? ¿Cuántas? Palabras logró sacar. 
six. Let's see. Is in even pen fine C. Uh huh. Okay, good. Six letters. Thank you. And you, Jonathan, how many how many words do you have? Only one, Miss. Only but, one. Uh, mm -hmm. like, ya la dijeron. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. And you, Alfonso? Which ones do you have? Only pen, teacher. Only, okay. Or pens can be another possibility. Let's try one more time. I'm going to give you the, the last one here. Television. Try to, you have one minute. Television. Okay, time's up. You can send them in the chat if you have your list in the computer. And let's listen to Ivania. Ivania, can you read your list? Um, vision. Mm -hmm. Visit. Uh, only two. <laughs> only two, okay. Let's see, Blanca. And you? Uh, mm -hmm. Vision, Vivian, Eleven, Levis. Eleven, ah, okay, that one is long. Eleven. Mm, but you're missing one E. Faltaría una E. Levis. Or which one? Or did you say 11, like the number? Mm -hmm. No. Just 11, it's okay. like this. <laughs> so you need three, three E. Aha, uh -huh. Arnoldo, you have a lot. But thank you, Blanca. Thank you very much. Let's see, Oscar and you, how many words do you have? I mean, novel. Novel, ah, okay, good. And you, Maria Concepcion? Only one teacher. One. Vision. Which one? Vision. Vision. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. It's a little bit difficult, right? It's difficult because you can only use the letters you have in this in this word. Okay. Visit. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, Visit. Carlos. Visit. Visit. Yes. Uh -huh. I think Jenny sent it, or was it? Somebody said that one. Uh huh. But yes, the idea is that you remember vocabulary, okay? That you remember vocabulary. We will continue in this moment in the book. I will share the book. Um, give me one second. Okay. And we continue over here. First, we will discuss a little bit the questions we have here. We will talk about the questions we have in this in this area. Okay, Elena, question number one, Elena. What 
is an important strategy restaurants could implement to get more clients or customers, Elena. What can restaurants do to have more clients or implement? Uh, maybe Mr. Donald promotion two for one in September. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Did you did you already buy donuts? No. <laughs> no, you didn't go. No, it's always crowded, I right? See, I see. Yes. <laughs> Full of people in September. Uh huh. Any other possibility? Other another strategy, Elena, that you have in mind to have more clients, more customers in a restaurant. Others to area by kids. Sorry, can when you repeat? You, uh, when you need a more um, boy for your kids, kids meal. Ah, okay, like the toy, right? That they include for kids. Yes. That's a good strategy. Thank you, Maria Elena. Let's see. What do you think about it, Carlos? One idea, one strategy to have more clients that you know? Discount or discount? Discounts, uh huh. Yes. Other ideas in restaurants? Coffee free? Hmm? Coffee free? Uh huh, free coffee, yes. Everyone mm -hmm. loves coffee. Well, most people love coffee. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Wendy, do you have other ideas, Wendy? Um, strategies in the restaurant. Uh -huh. uh, to have more clients. Today or in this moment or today, clean. Very clean and uh, separate. Uh, chair, chair on tables. And um, yeah. Yes, hygiene, higiene, right? Hygiene is important. Right. If it's dirty, no one wants to go. Uh -huh. Thank you. Question number two. Let's listen to Rodrigo. What are some successful restaurants you know? Do you know the word successful, Rodrigo? Successful. Successful. Successful is when that business is doing very well. They have many clients or customers and they earn a lot of money. Good, good business. Uh, okay. That is successful. Uh, Okay, so second play of food at half price. But what are some restaurants? ¿Cuáles serían unos de esos restaurantes exitosos? Uh, Olive Garden. Why? Why, Rodrigo? Uh, price uh, uh, second play of food at half price. Okay, Rodrigo. Thank you. Eli, successful restaurant in El Salvador? The, the name. The name the restaurant. Ladies restaurants. No, el nombre. Tengo que decir el nombre del restaurante. Yes. Nombre real. Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. China World, China World. Why mm. China World? ¿Por qué crees que es un, un restaurante exitoso? It, it has many sucursal branches. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And los cebollines. Los cebollines. Uh -huh. eh, 
Ah, no, nunca he ido, pero el basurero es bien ah. mencionado. Ah, ok. A lot of people talk about it. Ok. Yes. The, con, the food is... I don't remember how do you say barata. Cheap. Mm, the food is cheap. Say the ah. people. Ajá. Uh -huh. Economic prices make people go. They want to go if the price is economic. Okay, Ellie, thank you for your comment. Lily, one restaurant that is popular, good, in El Salvador. Oh. And why? It's a hat. Why? Um, Char Pizza Hub and Pollo Campeste. Why do you think so, Lily? Por qué? Why? Um, mm, I no sé cómo decir, tienen varias, eh, several brushes. Uh -huh. and, they have, they have many branches. Always see that is super full. Uh -huh. You can use this word. You see that full, it's crowded. Uh -huh. So it means that they have a lot of customers. Papa John's, uh -huh. the all you can eat promotion. So there are many, many restaurants, right? And we have international, international restaurants. Is there anyone else who has another idea? Do you guys have any other restaurant in mind? Maria Concepcion, do you have a comment? Tommy Roma. Tommy Roma. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Do you yes. go often? Uh -huh. Yes, it's good. What do you eat? What do you eat, Maria Concepcion? Um, sorry, teacher, I understand. Uh, what do you eat? ¿Qué? ¿Qué comes? In Tony Romans. Ah. Mm, sounds delicious. Okay, Maria Concepcion. Thank you. Yes, Jenny. Miss, Tell us. Uh, yes, Jonathan. I think that a good example is a pizza hut. Pizza Why, hut. Jonathan? Uh, for your customer service, they are very mm -hmm. happy with customer. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, because they celebrate a uh, birthday when a customer. Uh, Oh, yes. And they clap and they sing. Uh -huh. That attracts people, right? Yes, Jonathan, that could be another place. Thank you for your comment. And Jenny, okay. you have a comment too, right? For me, teacher, uh, Dennis. Dennis ha is open 24 hours a day. Uh, it has free Wi-Fi in the birthday boy, it's for free. Really, they have that promotion. I didn't know that if it's your birthday, you eat for free, that's nice. Okay, and you can say, Jenny, 24 seven. When it's open all day long, you can use 24 mm seven. -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Jenny. And Ivania, do you have another comment? Yo, yes, um, teacher. Yes. And the famous restaurant, uh, the Pollo Campero. Pollo Campero. Why Pollo Campero? Yes. Um, because they take care and service. Mm -hmm. And they have existed for many years. It's true. A lot, a long, long time. 
And when you go to the airport, people order and they take Pollo Campero to the USA. <laughs> when you go to Pollo Campero in the airport, they order, uh -huh, so people like it. And they take it to the US. <laughs> Thank you, Mari Ivani. Yes. And Arnoldo, please tell us. Just activate the, the microphone, Arnoldo. I, uh -huh. I think the tambor, they have uh -huh. a, a taquiza for all you can eat. Mm -hmm. And this is a this is a good a good uh, is that good? a good uh, in the a good uh, strat, strat, ah, strategy strategy uh, yes for the uh, for the comilo, comelones about <laughs> me. Ah, okay, yes. If you eat a lot, it's a good place to go. So, yes, yes. it's going to make us hungry. Creo que nos va a dar hambre estar hablando de comida y de tacos and meat. So, we will continue. I'm going to read the conversation and then you can, you can participate, okay, by practicing. So, it says, hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. No, basis, basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies. Strategies. And I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu, right? No menu, menu. Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every, I'm sorry, a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item no item, item, no sir, we never do. Okay, just one more time, remember, menu, right? Menu, basis. Where you said, ah, okay. Miss? Yes, Arnoldo? Miss, where, Tell is, the, me. where is the meaning for basis? Basis. It's the same as in Spanish. It's like people who come regular, like regular basis. How can I tell you? It's the same like in a every day. They want to check the number of people who go to the restaurant every day, the regular number, como el promedio the personas. That is what it means, regular basis. Do you hear me, Arnoldo? Okay. So, it's gonna be your turn, okay? I don't know if you hear me because it's raining a lot here. But, okay, basis, strategies, and the third. Now it's your turn. We will begin with Laura. Christian, can you participate? Are you there? Yes, Miss. Okay, so Christian yes, and, and Laura. Christian, okay. you are Mr. Mott, and Laura, you are Jennifer. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mo. I am just checking the number of people who come on a regular basis. That's so good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies 
and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting, promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Okay. Okay, thank you, Laura and, and Christian. Good pronunciation. Maybe okay. just, just the one you see here, dessert. 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 Because dessert, dessert, dessert. Uh -huh. yes, dessert oh, okay. exists. Dessert. Mm -hmm. La otra también okay. existe, this dessert, pero es desierto. And dessert, and dessert. Uh -huh. dessert. When okay. we talk about food, right? Dessert. Okay, thank you, Laura and Christian. Very well. Okay. Now let's hear. Let me check here. Arnoldo and Jonathan. Arnoldo, you are Jennifer, and Jonathan, you are Mr. Mott. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. How is it is going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies. And I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do you change the meaning? Well, we seldom change the meaning. However, however, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Okay, thank you, Arnoldo and and Miss, Jonathan, me. uh -huh. uh, what is the pronunciation, the word item, item, or what is the pronunciation, please? Item, item, Jonathan. That is the, the pronunciation of that one. Item. And item. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And I have here a synonym, Arnoldo, of the word regular basis. Maybe this one is better. Regularly. That is that is what it means. Okay. Something that it's it usually happens. Okay. Thanks for but, your support. Uh huh. You're welcome. Let's continue, Elena. Let's continue with Elena and Nelson. Can you participate now, Nelson? Yes. Ah, okay. So we will listen to you. Nelson, you are Mr. Mott. And Elena, you are Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Um, is I going? I'm fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am, I am thinking about new marketing strategy and, and um, I want to know some things. Tell me, sir. On Austin, do we change in the menu? Well, we shall don't, uh, change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert uh, every week. Do we ever have a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Elena and, and Nelson. Um, just remember that word will be item Nelson that is the, the correct pronunciation item yes that's the way we, we say okay item item correct okay okay so we are going to check the questions we have 
below, but before we do that, do you have questions, more questions about the vocabulary? Things that you don't understand or you don't know? Guys, do you have questions or doubts? No. No. Uh, no. Not in this moment. Okay. Well, in that case, we will check the questions we have over here. Question number one. Um, well, I wanted to hear Jenny, Jenny and, and Alfonso, one, one more round before we go on. So Jenny and Alfonso, Jenny, can you be Jennifer and Alfonso, Mr. Mott? One last time and then we, we go on. Sorry, teacher. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That's a good look. I am thinking about the marketing strategies and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promotional dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Okay, thank you. Just this one will be promoting. That will be the- Promoting. Uh-huh, promoting. Thank you, Jenny and Alfonso. Here we have some questions to discuss. Question number one, Omar, what kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? What kind of restaurant do you think it is? What kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? Are you there? Yes, Alfonso, do you have a comment? It's a restaurant, sir. What kind of restaurant? What kind? Uh, uh -huh. sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, like fast food or a vegetarian restaurant? What kind wow. of restaurant? The type, el tipo, what kind of restaurant do we imagine it is? Or you, Oscar? Do you have an idea? It's a normal restaurant. Mm. Uh -huh. Or maybe Ch China restaurant? A Chinese restaurant. Chinese restaurant where server the different uh, the different food. Okay, Oscar, thank you. And you guys, do you have any ideas? What kind of maybe, restaurant? Maybe, uh -huh. maybe vet, better, vegetarian. Yes, but they say never change the menu. Okay, and Nunca they, cambian the menu. Uh -huh. They never change yes. the menu. Uh -huh. Yes, or I think a carta? So, um, for a dessert, 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 uh -huh. is a candy, coffee, dessert, cake, uh -huh. uh, tarta, cake, 
Maybe it's a coffee and a dessert. It's panadería. <laughs> or a bakery. Little donut. Uh -huh. It's San Martín. Mm -hmm. Maybe Martin. a place like that. Yes, correct. Okay, then we have question number number two. What are some marketing strategies the restaurant is using? Well, this one is more personal, more personal. What are some marketing strategies the restaurant is using nowadays to get more clients? Wendy, do you have a, an idea? Strategies, marketing yes, strategies. Promo promotion a dessert. dessert. Mm -hmm. dessert? A dessert. Yes, or dessert. as Carlos mentioned, maybe a dessert and coffee, right? That could be one. And you, Anna, do you have another idea? Another uh, strategy for restaurants nowadays in the pandemic? Uh, what no. are they doing? Because with the pandemic, people don't go as much as before. Ahora ya no se va tanto. Well, maybe, uh, maybe online. not. Online. Um, How? Delivery. 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 Yeah. That could be one. Yes, another possibility. Uh, Rodrigo? I Strategies? Be... Or Arnulfo, you had a, a comment. Yes, I could ah. be server one, ¿cómo se ve? un platillo especial todos los días. A special dish. The, uh, uh -huh, like the dish of the day. Exactly. Promotional, low price and delicious food. Uh -huh. Thank you. Arnoldo, do you have a comment? Uh, maybe create a... Um... Um, le puedo decir? Uh, a special menu, menu with a special dessert or a special dishes. Mm -hmm. Create okay. a, a, a new flavor. For example, in Campero, in this moment, the day promotional the the camperitos flaming uh -huh. it's, an, it's, an, it's a new option for for the customers correct mm -hmm. new uh, new dishes uh, special dishes. don't don't ch don't change the old menu but agree new options to the menu for seasons flavor of seasons for example in in mcdonald's the McFlurry, they have a, a, a new flavor every season. Uh huh, correct. They have to continue changing or add, right? At least seasonal. seasonal. Don't change the menu, don't change the menu, but they agree new flavors or, or season flavors. Mm -hmm. Seasonal dishes, correct. Thank you. Yes, Jenny, please, please tell us. In my case, teacher, I like it when the restaurant uh, in pickup is fast uh, ah. for the short time. Efficiency. You like efficiency in, yes. in restaurants. Yes. For example, Betos, I think it's, I don't know if it's Hola Betos, the name of the restaurant. But oh my God, it takes so long for you to have the food, like one hour or one hour and 15 minutes. And you have to make a line and you have to wait too. So it's it's a long time. Yes, Jenny, I, I like efficiency too. And yes, Carlos. Uh, give toy uh, to, <laughs> to children. Yes. Because kids are going to tell their their parents to go there because they want the, the toys, right? And they have a collection sometimes. So kids want to have the, the collection. Okay, thank you for your comments. In this moment, we are going to study some grammar. Vamos a estudiar gramática. 
that we will apply in the next hour, para que la estemos ya trabajando en la siguiente hora. I'm going to share with you this. This is the book you, you have um, of level two, module number two. We're going to review again frequency adverbs. That is what we are going to study again, frequency adverbs. And I want you to take notes, okay, or to, to refresh this, frequency adverbs. They say, or they indicate the frequency of the activities, okay? Frequency adverbs. They, one moment. They, Okay. They indicate the frequency of the activities. That, that's what we will study. How to express regularity, okay? the frequency of your activities, the repetition of them. We have different adverbs. We have, for example, always, usually, and you have the frequency. 100% of the time, all the time, we can use always. 90% of the time, we can use usually. 80% of the time, we can use normally. 70% of the time, we can use often. 50% of the time, we can use sometimes. 30% of the time, you can use occasionally. 10% of the time, you can use seldom. And 5% of the time, you can use hardly ever or rarely. And 0% of the time, nothing, nada, you can use never to express the frequency. And we have examples. Let's read them. We will read them to, to have them in mind. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's start with Lily. Lily, can you read the first three? Examples, Lily, please. Es que los lea, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Yes, Lily. Ok. I always get up, get up, a five, five o'clock. Ajá. Uh -huh. Number two. He, use, uh -huh. he usually drives drive to work. Mm -hmm. She normally check her email. Email, thank you. And in this moment, we are using simple present, okay? We are using simple present. The one we checked yesterday, subject, Verb and complement. We use the same structure. Estamos utilizando la misma estructura que, que vimos ayer. Okay, but with new words. Okay, let's take a look to the next three. Jenny, can you can you read them, please? The next three sentences. I often have breakfast at work. She sometimes uses the microwave. I occasionally work over time. Uh -huh. Yes, thank you. And we have three, three more examples. Ivania, can you read the next examples, please? Um, we seldom take calls at work. Mm -hmm. 
he rarely has conference. I never get late to work. Thank you. Uh -huh. This one is conferences in, in the plural form. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have different adverbs. You have to try to memorize them. Hay varios, así que hay que tratar de, de memorizarlos, ¿verdad? O, o acordarse. Um, guys, do you understand in this moment what we are going to study? Si ¿Sí entendemos qué es lo que vamos a estar estudiando? Or not, not yet. María Concepción. ¿Qué, ¿Qué página es, teacher? This is not the book. Este es el, el libro no, número dos. Este es el libro número dos. De Insafor siempre, pero estoy enseñándoles una, una gráfica que está en ese. In our book, in our book, we don't have everything. Este es el que está en, en nuestro libro. Pero me gusta el del módulo 2, that it's very specific. That is why. Pero si tienes el libro número 2, it's, it's on page 20. Page 20. I'm going to show you more more examples okay we are going to study how to use them okay refresh how to use them i have a presentation that i'm going to show you but let me just check where i have it okay and let me let me see it's here And okay, just just wait one moment, please. Okay, here we have frequency expressions and frequency adverbs. I'm going to go to the one that we will study in this moment. Frequency adverbs. You have the calendar and we have the sentence. And Check the position, the position of the, of the adverb. Sentence number one. Maria Concepcion, can you read it, please? I always read a book. Uh -huh. Thank you. Always is all the time. Everything is in green because this is all the time. I always read the book. Thank you. Number two. Okay, we have two sentences here. Anna, can you read the one here, please? Why, teacher? The one oh, right. in the superior corner. I usually play the saxophone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I often... Oh, uh -huh. Yes, continue, sorry. I often ride my bicycle. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You have the calendar so you can observe. Tienen el calendario para que se hagan una idea, ¿verdad? Comparen el adverbio, the adverb, y la frecuencia. Lo que está en verde es, es la regularidad, the regularity of the activity, usually, and you can look at the calendar. Often, it's different, it's less, right? Es más poco, often. Can I continue? I'm going to share with you the next one, the next slide. Carlos, can you can you read the example, please? I rather the cinema. Mm -hmm. I rather go to the cinema. With this, you have two more options. You can say hardly, hardly ever is another possibility or seldom seldom but the difference seldom is more formal seldom is more formal hardly ever and rarely they are more common more common than than seldom but they are all the same questions in this moment do you have questions for me? 
Oscar, questions. Eli, questions. Juan Carlos, no. Okay. No teacher. And then we have this one. Can you read the example? Uh -huh. eh, yes. En la composición de la sentence uh -huh. eh, es igual para todas. What do you mean? Con todos los adverbs, eh, la position. Uh, for example, subject, el, el adverb de frequency, um, the, the verb y complement. Uh -huh. Yes. Vamos a ponerlo luego del subject. Esa es la position. O antes del verbo, okay. si lo quieren decir así. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, in English, lo hacemos así. I y luego the frequency of the activity. I never, I always, I sometimes, and the activity. Y ya luego mencionamos la actividad. With all of them. I those exceptions. There are two exceptions, pero ya voy a ir a la whiteboard y se las doy. Ok. And thank you. Ok. Let me, let me go back here. There are two exceptions to this rule. Two exceptions. Usually, usually, and sometimes can go, it's okay, can go at the beginning or start of the sentences, okay? We have this exception. For example, I usually watch TV. This is option number one, option number one. Option number two, Usually, I watch TV. Two options, exceptions, okay, to the rule. Number two, sometimes, option number one, I, or let's say she, okay, to change it, she sometimes, Go to the beach, option one, or option two, sometimes, she, and I'm sorry, she goes. Okay, it's now good. Sometimes she goes to the beach. Okay, option number two. We have two exceptions to the rule. Yes, no, do we understand? Is it clear? Entendemos? Si no, preguntemos. No hay problema, ok? Yo quiero que todos estemos aquí claros, como el agua, no como el horchata. Ok, so if you have questions, please tell me. Dudas? Doubts? No. Ok, I'm going to take the attendance before we continue. I'm going to take the attendance and then we we practice. Okay, so let's start with Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Lilian. Present. Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Brian Javier. Okay, then Carlos Antonio. Present. Francisca Elizabeth. Present teacher. Frida Janine. Jose Galileo. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso. Present teacher. Okay. María Concepción. Present teacher. María Elena. I'm here teacher. Ok. María Ivania. Present. Okay. Nelson Gavarrete. I'm here, Miss. Thank you. Then Omar Francisco. Present. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo. 
Present. Zaira Marleni. Present, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Jenny Santos. Present, teacher. Okay. Christian Lazo. Present. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. Present, miss. Jonathan Vigil, right? Así es. Present, miss. Yes. Thank you. Juan Carlos yes. Rivas. Present, teacher. And Mayra. Mayra no está. Mayra Moreno. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. I'm going to send something to the WhatsApp group. Okay, les voy a enviar algo en el grupo de WhatsApp. And we will work with this. Just, just hold on. Okay, in one moment you're going to receive a worksheet and we will use it. I think it's there now. You can you can get it there. And we will work with that. I'm going to tell you what this is this is about. Ahorita se las muestro. Okay, this is what you will see. Eso es lo que van a ver. This is what you will see. I I put a picture of the adverbs for you to Remember them. Les puse ahí una, una picture para que hagan la idea, ¿verdad? Y se recuerden. About the frequency of the activities. What do you have to do? You have to read the sentence and think about the adverb you have to use. Tienen que leer el contexto de la oración y ver qué adverb es el que tienen que utilizar. Example, number one, my brother is never sad. He's happy. Which one do you think we have to use? ¿Cuál creen que iría acá? Based on the context. Always. 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 Uh -huh. So that is what you have to do. Eso es lo que van a estar haciendo with the next one, okay? Read and find the appropriate one. And there are... 12, 12 of them. We will work in groups. Is it clear or do you have questions about it? No, it's clear. Okay, let me create the, the rooms. Um, hold on. Okay, so let me check number one. Anna, this time you will be working with Elena and Ivania. Next, Blanca, you'll work with Juan Carlos and Laura. Later, Rodrigo, Oscar and Omar. Group number four, Arnoldo, Christian and Ellie. Group number five, Jonathan, Jenny, Wendy. Number six, group number six, Nelson, Maria Concep Concepcion, and Lily. And then we will have Carlos and Alfonso. I will visit you. I will visit you. Oh, and, and Jonathan, I will send you to that room too, group number six. Oh. Hello, Zaira. ¿Qué tal sigue?
Perdón, teacher, le estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. Ah, ah, por eso. ¿Qué tal sigue? Ya está mejorcita. Todavía no. Fíjese que sí. No, fíjese ya que mejor. sí. Ya, ya, he, ya he mejorado bastante. Ah, ok. Pero sí está acostadita. Tal vez así descansa más. Sí, sí, eso sí. Ah, vaya. Sí, pero le escucho. Ajá, se le escucha la voz diferente. Fíjese que hasta ahora me, me llegó el kit de medicina y yo me he medicado así como para una gripe. Uh -huh. Pues no podía tomar otra cosa, ¿verdad? Y Ajá, té sí. eh, de, de cosas naturales, jengibre, que eucalipto uh -huh. y cosas así. Pero sí siento que está, bueno, primero Dios. En lo que no. cabe, bien. Sí, no se empeore la situación. ¿Ya tenía la vacuna? Sí, sí, ya. Ah, eso le va a ayudar. Un poquito más, pues, pero. Primero Dios que sí. <ríe> sí. Igual así me, yo hubiese podido participar ahí en el grupo también. Ah, sí para... puede. Pues la puedo mandar todavía. Sí, sí. Todavía. Yo como Envíeme, pensé que solo sí, está bien, estar de oyente, por eso no le he tomado no. mucho en cuenta. Pero si sí puede participar, pues yo, yo le hablo y todo. Sí. Sí, sí puede enviarme. Ah, sí, bye. sí. Vaya, la voy a enviar Gracias. entonces a un room. Ok, ahí le va a llegar la invitation. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. He, eh, igual, ¿verdad? He seldom. También, quizás ahí. Dice el, el rara, el rara ah, no, rarely, 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 uh -huh. rarely, sí. Ah, ok, por eso es que no va al cine. <risa> <risa> rarely, vamos a ver dónde no está. El y nos puso rarely. Ah, sí, es lo mismo que rarely. es hardly ever, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Judy saw a doctor for the first time in three years. Ah. So, mira al doctor. Una vez. Así es. Sí. Eh, mirar, ver. Va, o va, mira al doctor por. Yes, yes, el doctor. tiempo en tres años. Ella. Una ah, vez, que sería vez, como. Sería normal. En pocos, en poca. O usually. No, o sería. Normally. Often. Sometimes. Often. Debería ser sometimes. Menudo. O sería a menudo, often. Eh, para mí sería sometimes. A veces. Una sola vez. Ah, ¿no? ajá. ok. Ajá, son sometimes. Ah, yo está largo. I get up at five o'clock, seven. Ah, se levanta de las cinco de la mañana, los siete días de la semana. Ay, Dios, mire, este no descansa. Uh -huh. Igual que nosotros. Ah, ah entonces aquí sería I, ne I never, I never get up early. Él nunca se, uh -huh. él nunca se levanta. Nunca. No, él siempre, always, always sería aquí. Mire, no necesariamente que levante temprano llegue temprano al trabajo. No, pero como dice aquí, como dice, I get up at five o'clock, seven days. Ah, él se le, ah, ok. Entonces, sí, él pero... se levanta a las cinco, los siete días de la semana, a las cinco de la mañana. Ah, y viene. siempre llega tarde. Ah, no, ah, no, hombre, I never él get up. Él se levanta early. temprano, entonces aquí, I él nunca, get... entonces él, aquí sería, always. Ay, oh, always. él siempre mm -hmm. se levanta temprano. Ah. Vaya uno a trabajar. Sí. Ay, always, a ver. Sí. Always. Y la ocho y esa. Ay, le hago usted. Está ahí, estamos oyendo la Laura. Yo porque quiero pronunciar, yo le iba a decir mm -hmm. oír cómo pronuncian. It is always hot a uh, sunny. Where it lies. That's why I. Mm. ¿Qué quiere decir aquí? Siempre hace calor y hace sol. sol. Ah, donde vive, vea. Donde vive. Uh -huh. Forget to do it. 
Porque está diciendo siempre al principio. Uh -huh. It's never. Ajá, I it's never the, forget, it's never to, forget do it. to do it. Yeah. Yes. Steven Seldon goes to cinema. Steven Seldon goes to a cinema. Entonces aquí Harley también es o Raleigh. No porque, porque dice, eh, ni Steven es, raramente, como raramente, Steven rara, rara vez rara, rara va al Martín. cinema. Ajá. Y él de, tendría que ser también como Harley Ever. Ajá, como Harley Ever. O Seldon. Seldon. Uh -huh, Seldon. Es la cinco, ¿verdad? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Tell me. We can, we can use the same, the same. Uh, Adverb. Albert, yes. For example, in the, in in the five, Steven seldom goes to a cinema. He seldom sees movies. Ah, mm. uh -huh. yes, it could be that one or hardly ever or rarely. Ah, okay. Podría ser cualquiera de esas tres, Arnold, porque las tres okay. transmiten la misma idea. Pero quizás se oye mejor una de las otras porque se repite seldom. Sí, sería. Bradley. Ajá. Ajá. Bradley que is the, the same, the same percent in, ah, the, in the scale. Yes. Correct. Seldom, si ven, es un poquito más, pero casi que igual. El, el meaning casi que no cambia. Uh -huh. Okay, number six, Christian. Do you have any questions before I go? Solo venía aquí a ver cómo iban, pero no sé si tienen alguna duda. No. Okay. Okay. I'm going to let you continue in that case. See you in a moment. Okay. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Number two. Todo, todo, todo más o menos. Hi everyone, I'm visiting you a moment. Los vine a visitar un ratito. How are you doing? Do you need help? ¿Mm? Porque casi, o sea, hay tres, tres que se parecen. What do you mean? ¿Cómo así? Um, o sea, Rarelli es para casi nunca, ah, ¿cierto? Ajá, yes, esos tres son casi que sinónimos. Prácticamente. Y Seldom uh -huh. y... Yes. Como... Seldom es el menos utilizado. De ahí, yes, hardly ever y rarely son más, son más informales. Ok. Uh -huh. Yes. Pero no nos va a sacar todavía, ¿verdad? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> es you can continue. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ok. La otra sería Judy San, a doctor por the first, first time in the three years Judy siempre va al doctor cuando por primer tiempo es entre veces yes. al año. Por first time in three years. Three years. To get sick. Eh, sí, creo que es enferma, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Si se enferma, vamos a ver, eh, ¿qué? Para mí es Harley. Okay, a ver. Harley. Harley Ever. Harley Ever. Pero no sé qué piensan ustedes. 
Casi nunca. Casi nunca. You listen a doctor the feeling time. No me acuerdo, no. Mm. Póngala. Pero es que está diciendo póngala. ¿Qué, ¿Qué me iba a decir? Pero que no está diciendo que como que tipo. Never, 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 Yes, uh, number five. Mm -hmm. Steven Shello goes to a cine. He hardly ever sees movies. He's correct. Yes, you can use hardly ever, rarely, or even seldom. You had like three possibilities. See? Yes, okay. Steven. Mm -hmm. um, Rodrigo. Ahora nos toca la sesión yes, privada. Sure. Can you stay? Si ¿Sí se va a poder quedar, Rodrigo. Yes, sure, yes. Ah, okay. All right. I just yes. wanted to. Yes. Déjeme revisar. <laughs> Déjeme revisar y les, okay. les aviso mañana. I will check. No, está, estamos ansiosos. <laughs> Me alegra, that's the okay, no problem. Yes, Omar. Voy a ponerlo, a anotarlo acá, porque Cristian me preguntó también. So I'm going to check. Mañana ahí me van a, van a recibir un mensaje mío. Ok, so... Ok, Mr. Um, bueno, si quieren, mientras tanto, porque sus compañeros creo que todavía no faltan, en tres minutos vamos a volver al main room. Pero mientras tanto, podrían trabajar en, en la siguiente activity que ya vamos a tener. Se las voy a mostrar acá en lo que nos espera. Que es activity, oops, number five of the book. You have to write sentences about activities you do at your workplace. Tienen que hacer sentences utilizando the adverbs. Así que podrían empezar a trabajar en eso. Igual en dos minutos volvemos. Si no, se pueden estar aquí un ratito conociéndose más y ya casi volvemos. Ok, hey, so no I'm going Thank to you. let you continue there. Ok, goodbye. Mm -hmm. Hi, Hi Nelson. Carlos, Nelson. What happened to your room, Carlos? No. Eh, estuve, con, estuve con Luis y nos salimos porque ya habíamos terminado. Ah, ok, ok. I'm y, going y, me to... cayó, y, y, me, y me cayó ahorita con Nelson. Ah, uh -huh. this is the main room. Es que estamos en el salón principal y todos ah, andamos. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero sí, ahorita voy a traer ya todos a regre, de regre y ya vamos a, a revisar. I'm going to I'm going to share the the exercise. Okay. Okay, we will check your answers in this moment to see if we have the same. Some answers may may vary a little bit. So here we have the the exercise. We will start with group number 6. Lily, Maria Concepcion, and Nelson. Okay, can you help me with number two? Maria Concepcion, number two. I don't hear you. Um, Are you here or Lily? Can you help us with number two? Lily is not here. 
Oh. Yes, ah, okay. Lily, can you um, help? Ay, no me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia la, la que es re, re, really Rarely. 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 Esa. Esa. Ah, okay. yes. Can you read the full sentence? Todo, the full sentence, Lily. I was um, late. Okay, okay. I was late for work only one time last year. I, I teacher, me enreda la lengua con la palabra. Um, rarely, rarely. Um, rarely. <laughs> okay, thank you. Rarely late. Then let's continue with group number five. Let's listen to Wendy. Wendy, number three. Please read the sentence, Wendy. Wendy? Uh, Mary Hello. may file, file fail. only one test. Fail. Mary failed only one test in high school. Mm -hmm. She uh, usually usually it's a different one because of the frequency. Sería otra Wendy por la frecuencia. Usually, oh. con este context no quedaría mucho Wendy. But thank you. Let's check with Arnoldo. Arnoldo number three. Mary failed just one test in high school. Or which one did you use, Wendy? Perdón, ¿cuál es? ¿Cuál dijo? Please repeat. Three. Usually. 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 Dijo. I'm sorry. Escuché mal las ahorita reaccioné. Yes, yes. We can use usually. Sorry. Let me. Uh, Okay, thank you. So, yes, usually. Hold on, I'm going to put it here. Okay, Arnoldo, number three, number four, I'm sorry, number four. I always remember to do my homework. I never forget to do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now let's go with Blanca. Blanca, please help us with number five. Mm -hmm. Student Seldon goes to a, a cinema free gravity. Mm -hmm. Yes, in this one, <clears throat> guys, you have three possibilities, okay? Rarely, you can use seldom or hardly ever. All of them will be correct. Thank you, Blanca. Now, number five, Ivania, number six. Please, please help us read the, the sentence, Ivania. Now, um, uh, Judy saw a doctor for the first time in three years. She, she rarely, gets sick. Mm -hmm. She readily gets sick. Thank you. Yes, that's the one. Okay. And now we continue with number seven, right? Saira, number seven. Or Christian, number seven. Number seven, Miss. Uh -huh. Is uh, I get up at five o'clock seven days a week. I always get up early. I always. Thank you. Yes, that sounds good. Next one, number eight. 
Let's go with Carlos, number eight. Number eight. It's always hot and sunny where I, I live. That's why I never see the snow. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Rodrigo, number nine. Number nine. Did you ever drink coffee? Yes, but only. Sometimes, not often, just a few times a week. But only sometimes. Okay, that will work. Not often, just a few times a week. Thank you, Rodrigo. Jonathan, number 10. Okay, my sister almost never eat burgers and fries. She usually eats healthy food. Thank you. Nelson, number 11, please. Can you activate the microphone, Nelson? I'm sorry, me, me traba la pantalla. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell me. I'm sorry. In number 11. 11, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. 11. We said that I was uh, to class, maybe three or four mm -hmm. that week. Mm -hmm. uh, I was. Always. See, always. Mm, it's better if we use another one. Sería mejor que utilizáramos otro, porque always is all the time, todo el tiempo, pero no es todo el, todo tiempo. el tiempo. Okay, so. Usually? That one could work better. Usually will. Mm -hmm. Usually. Okay, Nelson, thank you. Jenny, number 12. What do you have on that one? Do you ever watch action movies? No, never. Well, I watched an action movie a few years ago, so I guess she'll say rarely. Uh-huh, thank you. Just this verb, you can say watch in, in past tense, Jenny. Watch, but the adverb is watch. correct. Watch. Uh-huh. Watch. Okay, thank you. So those are the answers you should have. Así deberían de más o menos quedar. Algunas varían un poco. Do you have questions before we continue? Doubts about teacher, this activity? In the, in the number, uh -huh. Teacher, in the number 10, nosotros lo tenemos always. My sister almost never, como ella está diciendo que nunca. My sister all, almost never... It's hamburger, entonces nosotros ponemos she always. Ah, ok. Barley. Oops. Pero es, es almost never. Almost, almost never es como lo mismo que hardly ever, como seldom, Eli. Es casi nunca. Casi nunca. Uh -huh. Entonces, de, debido a eso, Eli, por eso ponemos usual. No Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Anything else? Any other doubts? No? No more doubts. Okay, let's continue practicing. Okay? Let's continue practicing. We have an activity in the book. I guess some of Okay, the one you see here. Activity number five in the book. It says write sentences about the activities you do at your workplace. Use the following adverbs of frequency to state how often you do those activities. You have to make sentences with one sentence using always, next sentence using rarely, hardly ever, seldom, sometimes, and never about activities you do at your workplace, okay? Vamos a hacer oraciones utilizando los adverbs 
que vemos a continuación. We have six. So six sentences. Depende de la frecuencia con el que lo hagan, escojan el, el adverb que sea necesario. And please send it in the chat. Si lo hacen en el notebook, take a picture and you send it to me in, in the group. Si lo hacen en el notebook, le toman una foto para que yo la pueda ver después. Teacher, ¿podría repetir la actividad? No la entendí bien. Yes, no problem. You have to make sentences. Usted tiene que crear oraciones. You have to make sentences with the adverbs, con los adverbs. With the adverbs that you see over here. Con los que vemos acá. About activities. Ajá, uh -huh. only one per adverb. Por cada uno. Uh -huh. Acá es sobre activities you do at work, Lily. Son de actividades que hacen el trabajo. Entonces, depende de la frecuencia, escoge la que es la apropiada. Y les decía a sus compañeros que la puede hacer en el chat de una vez para que me lleguen o le, lo hacen en el notebook y le tomo una picture a, su, a sus ejercicios y lo manda ahí en, en WhatsApp. Okay. Another possibility. Uh -huh. Miss? Yes? I send, I send in WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Let me see. Ah, uh -huh. okay, Arnoldo. Thank you. Let me read them. In chat? No. Yes? In WhatsApp. No, in the chat it's okay, Wendy. You can type them oh. in the chat. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Thank you, Arnoldo. The sentences are okay, but can you make them about your job? Puedes hacerlas sobre actividades del trabajo, Arnoldo. Because the ones you sent are about your daily routine. Las que veo acá son más sobre su, su normal life, right? But think about activities, Arnoldo, at work. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Elena. In this moment. Say, Thank you, Arnoldo. How do you say caja chica? How do you say? Caja chica. In caja, caja chica. Can you yes. tell me a, a synonym of that word? Um, la caja chica es una cantidad de efectivo uh -huh. que tiene cada oficina. Caja de efectivo. Eticash. Cashier. Eticash. Cashier will be the person. ¿Cuál es la otra Petty que está en mi, en mi, en mi company? Contable. Petty Cash. Contable. Petty Cash. Caja chica. Oh. Y contable es Petty oh, Cash. Okay. Petty okay. Cash. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can you send it in the chat? Is it like like this? Oh, Petit? Oh, like that?
Teacher, yo ya envié las mías allí en el chat de Zoom. Ok, Eli, I'm going to check them in, in one second. Let me see. Ajá, uh -huh. thank you. Just will be I sometimes close, close the office. But yes, Eli, thank you. Who else has finished? Thank you, teacher. Who else wants to read the sentences? Teacher, sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. Give me a moment, please. Me yes. voy a levantar. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. let me know when you're back. And then Oscar, let me see Oscar. Okay, Oscar, they look good. Just the one that says I readily attend attend events in my job. In this, are you talking about atender, Oscar? Is that what you mean? Attend? Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, compañera es partner. Uh -huh. Or co-worker. Colleague. Yes. Mm, thank you. Mm -hmm. Y para atender, así sería como, I always attend the general director. Is, is correct? No, I was about to say that attend, it means to be present in a place. Like you have attended to the class. Attend es como estar presente en un lugar, in English. If you want to say that, you can say that you you help customers or you serve people, but not not attend or you support support customers. En but, vez de de atin, uso uno de las que me acaba de decir usted serve mm -hmm. serve o o porque asistir no verdad. Assist, assist sometimes is a little bit more used in a medical way. A veces asistir es como así, pero sí, podrías utilizarlo, María Concepción. Assist. Miss. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Arnoldo. I send again the, the oh, new okay. sentence. The sentences. Okay, thank you. Yes, they are perfect. Thank you, Arnoldo. Okay, um, please, You're welcome. please continue. If you haven't finished, it's gonna be your homework assignment for the, the weekend. Si no las han terminado, les van a quedar de tarea para que me las manden despuesito or tomorrow, because right now we will continue. Vamos a, a continuar with another activity. Thank you, Elena, y las que acaban de mandar yo las reviso. Laura. También, I will check them in a moment. If you haven't finished, please finish later. Si no las han terminado, me las envían en un momento, okay? So in this moment, we continue with activity number six, okay? In this moment, you have to study the graph. You have to look at the graph and you have to answer the questions. Okay, I'm going to read the instruction and then I'm going to separate you. Voy a, a decir las instrucciones de esta activity y luego los voy a separar para que podamos trabajar en ello. Okay, so, so please pay, pay attention. It says, look at the graph, look at the graphic showing how often three branches of a restaurant do promotional activities during the month. In the graphic, you have three branches 
three different branches of a restaurant and they have promotional activities during the month. And this is what you have to answer. Ask a classmate how often each branch does promotional activities. Tienen que ver, en otras palabras, aquí están diferentes branches, como pueden ver. San Salvador sería de the blue one, we have La Paz, La Unión, en Usulután, and they do promotional activities, hacen diferentes promotional activities, change the menu, rotate shifts, new dessert, and promotional item. Utilizando these frequency adverbs, utilizando las, las palabras que hemos aprendido ahora, tienen que ver que tanto las sucursales hacen diferentes actividades. Example, les voy a dar uno, un example. Vamos a empezar con este. Change the menu. ¿Qué tan a menudo lo hacen? Por ejemplo, San Salvador. Y aquí tienen la graphic. Están los números para que podamos ver. San Salvador es el azul, ¿verdad? Está aquí en number 12. ¿Qué podríamos decir? Using an adverb. Example, you can say, uh -huh. San Salvador. Something. Uh -huh. Change the menu. Ajá, voy a utilizar, digamos, acá, usually, just an example. San Salvador usually changes the menu of the restaurant. Ok, y ahí está, number one. Luego vamos con La Paz. What about La Paz and the menu? Sí, vamos a ver la graphic. Vamos a utilizar un adverb and we create the sentence. Y luego vamos con la unión. Ok, we check the graphic y we elaborate the sentence. Do you understand? ¿Entendemos? Or not clear yet. Yes, we're good. Alfonso, do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ok, because of the time, por lo menos los primeros dos. Ok, about changing the, o oh, escojan dos ustedes. It could be new dessert, promotional item, but two. Porque son como cuatro oraciones por cada, por cada gráfica, ¿verdad? And we only have like five minutes. Tenemos five minutes, so we don't have a lot of time. I'm going to open the, the rooms again. We're back in five minutes. Teacher, a mí no me mandó. No. Uh, ok, Alfonso. I'm going to send you to your room con Omar and Oscar.
Okay. Que parece que por ahí aparece una opción, parece, ¿verdad? No sé. Ahí está. Ahí está ahorita. Ay, How can I help you? Yes, teacher. Eh, creo que como todos estamos ya a punto de quedar dormidos, estamos ahí como que no entendimos. Ajá, okay. Yo sé, los viernes suelen ser así. Ok, hay que... <risa> Dios mío. <risa> hay que tratar de de ver qué tan a menudo ellos hacen diferentes cosas. Por ejemplo, ahí dice eh, New Desserts, qué tan a menudo ponen nuevos postres. La Paz, La Unión, Usulután y, y el Branch de San Salvador. Y cada, cada sucursal tiene un color. Está Color Coded. coded. Entonces, mm. ahí, por ejemplo, La Paz, si ven eso y ven la barra, yo diría como que La Paz... Menos. Nice. Menos, maybe, Ajá, maybe eh, La Paz. Rarely. Ajá, La Paz rarely, rarely changes the dessert. Y ahí ponen de que ellos casi nunca pues cambian el postre. Entonces eso es lo que tienen que hacer. Y sería la misma oración, pero ya irían mm. cambiando el adverb y, y la sucursal. Ajá. Por ejemplo, La Paz, eh, rarely change the menu of the restaurant. Ajá, y como es tercera persona, a ese se le pondría la S, changes, porque estamos hablando de una sucursal. Changes. Ajá. Oh. Entonces era, era así. Así que creo que les va a quedar de homework también, porque ya ahorita ya están cansaditos todos. Y el tiempo ya es. Y el tiempo ya se nos acabó también. Por lo menos uno. Traten de hacer por lo menos uno. Y ya tienen ahora la idea de cómo es que, que va. Hay que hacer una oración. Ok, thank you. Yo sí, sé que había escrito. Uh -huh. Paso Rennie de Miru of the Restaurant. Pero que No sé si es mi internet, pero lo oigo cortado, María Concepción. Ya les pasé el mal a todo porque todo lo he cortado. Ajá. Hi, welcome back. Eh, María Concepción, send it in the chat because I, I couldn't understand. Sorry. Ok, so could you finish at least one? One of the promotional. Strategies, lograron terminar por lo menos una. No. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, yes. one one representative of each each um, group sent a picture in the chat. Un representante de cada grupo me manda una picture, please, ahí en el en el grupo y yo la voy a estar calificando eh, luego luego de la clase because it's almost time to go. And I sent some messages in the chat. Ahí les revisé sus sentences. Ahí pueden, pueden ver qué tal quedó. Do you have questions about the activity we just did? Do we have questions? No, no questions. Um, okay, and the only, just let me check here. Elena, you sent this by chat, right? Elena, vi aquí sus oraciones. They were good. Mm -hmm. They were good. Just the one, I rarely go to the office. I'm incapacitated. Que casi nunca va cuando está enferma. Or what do you mean? Elena. Hello. Hi. In, in this monthly, I incapacitate. And ah. so rarely time I am go to the office. Only one or two times. Ah, ok. The... Vamos a cambiarle entonces. Hay que poner, I rarely have a medical medical leave. Quedaría así. I rarely have a medical leave. 
and then Lily, they they are correct. So guys, I'm going to take the attendance and then I'm going to stay with Rodrigo in the in the private session. So please remember to say present and to have the camera on. We start with Ana, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Lilian and Blanca Elizabeth. Present. Brian, Present, thank you. Carlos Antonio. Present. Okay, Francisca Elizabeth. Frida. Jose Galileo. Jose Rodrigo. Present. Okay, Laura Carolina. And Luis Present. Alfonso. Thank you. Present. Present. María Concepción and María Elena. I'm here. Okay, thank you. And then Ivania and Nelson. Present. Present, Present, Miss. Okay, thank you. Omar Francisco and Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Present. Saira Marleni and Wendy Maribel. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Jenny Santos and Christian Lazo. Present, Present Miss. Okay, Jose Arnoldo and Jose Jonathan. Present me. Thank you. And Juan Carlos Rivas. I here. Mayra Moreno. Okay, thank you. So now you're free to go. You have your weekend, okay, to rest and come back with a lot of energy on Monday, okay? So sweet dreams to all of you. See you on Monday. Have a happy weekend. Sweet Thank dreams. you. You Good too. Dreams. Thank you. Good night. Good night. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you Monday. See you on Monday. Bye. Blessings. Thank Good you. Night. Bye bye, Carlos. See you later. Okay, Rodrigo. Hold on one moment. Yes, teacher. Okay, Rodrigo, now that we are all alone, so tell me, how how can I help you um, today? Is there something that it's been difficult for you? Hay algo que se le esté dificultando un poquito más, Rodrigo? Yeah, yes, it's a pronunciation. Pronunciation. Eh, ¿Podemos repetir la, 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 la conversación de hoy? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. O si quiere, también podemos repetir el artículo que leímos. Ah, ok. Él creo yo uno que sí. estaba bien. Sí, yes. yes, de los cinco puntos del... Ajá, ajá, uh -huh. ese. De Correcto, sí. Sí, Si excelente. quiere ponemos ese. Por favor. Está más, ok. Más completo, tiene más palabras, más complicadas. Sí, y ahora que, que me lo comenta, pues yo también puedo este, tomarlo más en, en consideración, ¿verdad? Para cuando leemos. Porque yo trato de, de pues... Que todos lean, ¿verdad? Pero debido al tiempo, sí. um, no siempre puedo ponerlos a todos, todos, pero puedo tratar de, de hacerlo, ¿verdad? Para que practique pronunciation. Ok, voy okay. a empezar yo entonces, Rodrigo, y luego le toca a usted para que se recuerde de, de cómo se pronuncia. Paragraph okay. number two. Be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all methods, including visual presentations, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face. -face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and computer and provide status information when asked. Just give me one second, Rodrigo. Let me turn on the, uh, one second. Okay. I have to charge my laptop because if not, it's going to be turned off. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Rodrigo, now you can do it. Okay, be a good communicator. 
you should be able to communicate effectively using all method. In cry, in, in cry, repeat please, including. Uh, sorry. Including. Including. Uh, including. Visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face-to-face -face. good communicator is a two-way streak. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customer and provider status information when asked. It sounded very well, Rodrigo. Maybe I can help you with, um, let me double check. Okay, the one here and the one here and this one. Okay, can you please repeat this, this word? Required. Mm -hmm. Required. And this Required. one? Required. Performance. Performance. Super. Upper. 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 Mm -hmm. And the one Upper. here? The management. Management. Ma management. Mm -hmm. Management. 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 Yes. From upper management. Upper management. Correct. Let's go. La continue. fuerza va en manage, manage, uh -huh. la fuerza todo. Management. Management. Okay. Correct. And then the next one says be technically proficient. The products we create are not so, are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And not having watched Happy Feet or the March of the Penguins does not qualify you as technically proficient in, proficient in Linux. Linux. Okay. Repeat. Be technical prof proficient. 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 The technical proficient. The product required at Norodos are technical complicated. You don't need to be able to call in C, but you should be able to guide technical guidance and decide the best strategy and method for success. And not having washed happy feet or the march on the penguins doesn't qualify you a technical profession and Linux. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. I will help you with, with some words. Mm. Okay. Strategies. 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 Uh -huh. Strategies. 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 Qualify. Qualify. Okay. Strategies. Qualify. Say this one again. Just want to make sure. Guidance. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. That one's good. Yes, I only heard strategies and qualified. The other ones you mentioned was well were correct. And this okay. one remember proficiency. Proficient. Uh -huh. Proficient. Proficient. Guiding size qualify. Uh -huh. And check the ones here. Paragraph number two. This one is required. Required. And next. Required. Performance. Mm -hmm. 
and upper. Upper. Okay, let's go with the next paragraph. Hold on. Okay, it says encourage teamwork. Teamwork is important at Northside. Not only are you required to encourage the best practices for building teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have no doors at North Docks for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for managers. You are required to sit and work with your staff. Okay, now is your turn, Rodrigo. And call is teamwork. Teamwork is, is important and not so. Not only are you required to encourage the best practice for winning teamwork, you are considered a part of the team. We have the doors and not so for you to hide behind. In fact, we have no traditional office space for manager. You are required to sit and work while your staff. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, only say this one again. Building. 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 Uh huh. That's that's okay. the correct pronunciation of that. Building. Building. Mm -hmm. But you have good pronunciation, Rodrigo. I don't. I don't consider it bad. Maybe just like one or two words, but I will say that most words you say, they sound good. Yo escucho que las dice bastante bien, Rodrigo. Quizás unas pocas, sí. ¿verdad? Sí, Pero... practice, practice. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué es lo que hace usualmente para practicar? Repeat. Y repeat eh, en las horas libres de trabajo, repasar la, ah. la lectura más que todo. Really? Después no sé del lunch, después del lunch, correcto. Mm -hmm. el, el, ver el video y la pronunciación de la, de la clase anterior. ¿no? Mire, ah, uh -huh. lo admiro. Eso es, estamos. es bastante admirable porque no todos van a, a tener la dedicación de ponerse a hacer eso, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y I like. tiene su fruto, ¿verdad? Porque yeah, yo, yes. yo escucho de que una o dos, ¿verdad? Pero no es que todo el párrafo lo lea mal, ¿verdad? Así que okay. siento que, que lo leen bastante bien, Rodrigo. Okay. Uh -huh. More practice. Seguimos practicando. Ajá, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Siempre. Y de hacerlo todos los días. Ajá. Sí, la práctica, ¿verdad? Así como dicen que la práctica hace al maestro, todo lo que uno hace día yes. a día tiene un efecto. Y si, mire, la clase es de dos horas cada día. Sí. Yeah. Sí. Es inglés intensivo porque son yes. dos horas, ¿verdad? Continuas. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Y aparte okay. tienen tarea, ¿verdad? Y todo eso. Yes. Sí, todo eso pues. La plataforma. Ajá, la, la plataforma. Y pues sí, cu cuando sea que usted tenga una duda o una pregunta, Rodrigo, pues ahí estamos, ¿verdad? A las órdenes. Ok, thank you, Chicha. Ok, Rodrigo. ¿Do you have okay. any other questions before we go? Only. Only. Just that. Oh, sí, yes. Thank you. Okay, Rodrigo. No problem. You are free to go. Good night. Okay? Good night. Oh, okay. Good night. Good Take night. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.